Okay, Assalamualaikum and a good day to everyone. First of all, I would like to thank JPN Pulau Pinang for giving this opportunity to share my action research. I am Umi Amara binti Musa from SMK Penanti Kubang Semang and my action research is Mastery of Subtopic Silicate by Using APC Technique for Form 6 Science Students. Obviously, APC is not anugerah perkhidmatan cemerlang. Okay, as you can see at the slide, that is the example of the structure of silicates. Imagine that when you build a house, where you need a structure that defines the design of a house. For example, it will take different structure to form a semi-detached house as compared to a terrace or bungalow. So, this is the analogy of the subtopic of silicates. Okay, why silicate? Silicate is a subtopic in inorganic chemistry semester 2. It is a popular subtopic in chemistry semester 2 STPM examination. However, silicate is not a popular question for students to answer. So, an innovation technique is designed to overcome the problem faced by students in answering the subtopic silicates. Okay, while teaching the subtopic silicate, okay, I have found that my students were unable to differentiate the types of silicate because they do not memorize the structure of silicates. This will lead them to give wrong basic unit and wrong formula as well. I started my action research with observation, pretest, and followed by unstructured interview. Observation were made by observing students' attitude and behavior towards subtopic silicates during teaching and learning process and followed by a pretest. Then, I proceed with a short interview to obtain the students' feedback regarding their problem in answering the subtopic silicates. Based on this action, I found that students cannot describe the structure of silicate. To solve this problem, I have decided to help the student on how to memorize easily and can be interested to this topic by introducing the APC technique. The study that was conducted involved nine students, which are five boys and four girls from class UTMA and UPCA. After two weeks of implementation of APC technique, the post test was carried out and the results show that APC technique can help the student to master of the subtopic silicates. Okay, the study intended to focus on the use of APC technique to assist students in mastering the subtopic silicate. If students could remember all the structure of silicate, they will be able to write the formula and basic unit correctly. Next, APC technique focus on hands-on learning in order to emphasize on student psychomotor skill as they can participate actively. Furthermore, the student will be able to remember the structure better as they practically construct the silicates in the learning process. Next, the study also focus on the repetition process to improve memory skill as the APC technique allow the student to carry out the activity for a few times. Next is research objective. The general objective is the purpose of this study is to enhance student mastery of subtopic silicate of the Form C chemistry syllabus. The specific objective of this study are to increase student mastery of constructing the structure of silicate and to improve student memory skill of the structure of silicates. Okay, for the analysis of the pretest. The diagram show that the level of achievement that can be categorized into high, medium, and low achievement. It can be seen that, that most of the students were in low achievement, which contributed of 55.6%, while 33.3% and 11.1% of students were in medium and high achievement, respectively. This indicate that there was a big gap score between the students. Hence, this situation had triggered an idea to implement action research to help students, especially weak students, to improve their score marks. So, what is actually APC? A stands for arrange, P stands for pace, and C stands for convert. To start with, I introduced 
the APC technique by pre preparing some pieces of triangular shape color paper and circle shape color sticker. The circle shape consists of three of different color which represent oxygen atom, oxide ion and silicon atom. Students have to arrange the triangle paper and circle color sticker in the correct order. Next, students paste the sticker on the triangle paper and the last step, they have to convert the structure to the molecular structure and write the formula and basic unit of the silicates. Okay, this is the example of student work. Okay, as you can see from the diagram of the silicate, student can easily differentiate the silicon atom, oxygen atom and oxide ion and then they can convert easily to the molecular structure and identify the formula structure. The implementation was carried out in three steps. Firstly, this activity focused on memorizing of the six structure of silicate which consists step A and step B. The psychomotor skill which is involved in A and P step will lead students to easily memorize as they have to focus on arranging the shape of the color of silicon, oxygen and oxide ion when constructing the silicate. Next step followed by C where students need to convert into the molecular structure and identify the basic unit and formula. Last step is APC where students need to describe the structure of silicate where actually students repeated the step 1 and step 2. Students need to describe the molecular formula formula structure and basic unit of the silicates. From the technique, the student can easily memorize the structure of silicate as they repeat the step and the repetition process has been proven to be effective to improve memory. Uh, let us watch the video during implementation session of APC. As you can see from the video, there are no hesitation in arranging the oxygen, oxide ion and silicon. Students look confident as they have to explore and construct practically the structure of silicate by themselves. Okay, this table shows summary of the post test score on the 9 students after the implementation sessions. Based on the data obtained, 8 students score above 75% with three of them score full mark of 100%. In general, majority of the students got higher mark and better grades in the post-test compared to the pre-test. The comparison of the student score and percentage in pre-test and post-test results show improvement of 42.6%. Next, for the graph, it can be seen that the post-test mark for student 1 and student 3 show significant increase with the increasing of more than 50%. Okay, suggestion for further research. Based on the finding of the research, students basically prefer teaching and learning in which they can participate actively. As one of the teaching tool, the use of techniques certainly outweigh the routine chop and top method in motivating students' learning interest in chemistry. Thus, hand-on activity should be emphasized to the other topic. In addition, the APC technique should be extended for Form 4 and Form 5 chemistry and science as the content also included the types of structure of molecule and atoms. Therefore, it is suggested that 
This technique also can be implemented to the lower form. As a conclusion, APC technique has been proven successful in helping students in describing the structure of silicate. Thank you.